Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm sitting here next to the FlashForge ADX5. But more importantly, I'm sitting here next to my Halloween business card. That's right, it's the Squid Game Invitation. In the TV show, the back of the Squid Game Invitation has the phone number. Calling it gets you picked up, gassed, and sent to the island. On my invitation, the back has a QR code with all my socials on it. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this card or any similar card to up your social media networking game. Let's get to it. Oh, I almost forgot. This is a DIY project, and there is a company that loves DIY project as much as we do. That company will allow you to upload your project. They will professionally print it and ship it to your door. That company is today's sponsor, PCBWay. Let's check them out. Here at PCBWay.com, you can use their PCB design service to design and bring your PCB project to life. They can also handle 3D printing. You can use their 3D printing service to print 3D projects or even cases for your PCB projects. They can handle everything from the basic filaments to more advanced filaments such as aluminum, stainless steel, and titanium. Whether it's PCB design and fabrication, 3D printing, or both, the people at PCBWay can help bring your project to life. Many thanks to PCBWay. Click the link in the description, make a new account, and they'll deposit five free dollars credit into your account. And now, let's try this again. Here I am on Maker World, and I've got this card right here. This card has the symbols embedded in the card and is printed upside down so the letters are flush on the card. This version has raised letters, so you would print this right side up with the letters raised above the card. This is a candidate to print the QR code on the bottom. This is a candidate to print the QR code on the top. We'll have a quick look at both options. I've got each one sitting on a bed in Flash Forge Orca. You can use any similar model and you can follow along in regular Orca or Bamboo Studio. To get that QR code, head over to genqrcode.com. There are other websites that do the same thing. Some even do fancier things. This site has been reliable for me and we will go with this one. To create your QR code, click on the topic. The QR code I'm going to do has my tap link. I will click URL and type in my tap link. Tap link .cc slash Mr. Greg. This link takes people to my socials. Click on generate QR code and your QR code will appear on the right. You can go even further and change the pattern of this QR code. Be careful using some of these smaller items such as stars. You want to be sure whatever object you choose can print cleanly, reliably. With your URL chosen, Go here and choose STL. You will be presented with two options, with base or without base. Since we will be embedding this code, we will choose without base. I'll keep everything default and choose download STL file. Return to your slicer and drag that code onto your print bed. You can see it's a little big we can go ahead and create a smaller one or simply resize this one, which is what I'm gonna do. I've got it down to 50. And now I'm going to clone it. We are going to add this model to the bottom of this one and the top of this one. Let's start with the easy one, the bottom. First thing we need to do is assign some colors. I will be making the card in gray I will be making the QR code in black. I will simply grab this code and drag it where I want it 
underneath the model. When I slice this plate, you'll see that code embedded in the model. Of course, these letters are kind of lame. We can go ahead and use a simple fill tool to make these letters black. Let's slide over to this card. This card has the Squid Game icons pre-painted and on the bottom. We'll need to put the QR code on top. By dragging it like this isn't going to cut it because Orca based slicers snap to the build plate. We will need to assemble these two objects. Here on the left, click into objects. Down here under plate two, which is right here, we will select both items by first clicking one, then holding control and clicking the other. We will right click, we will choose assemble. Now we are able to select that QR code, choose the move tool and look at that. It no longer snaps to the bed. Then we will use the move tool and bring it down to embed it into that model. You can get it flush to the model or you can raise it a little bit above the model. I happen to like raising the code a touch above the model so you can actually feel it. Now with the QR code embedded, go ahead and press slice plate. You will see the QR code is here. The squid game logo is here. I'm going to send each of these to the flash forge 85 X and then we'll test it out with our cell phone. Today I am printing with any cubic gray and Landu black. I'm a big fan of Landu filaments. Any cubic is a hard filament. I don't recommend it for anything requiring lots of supports. However, any solid object that does not require supports, any cubic is a good candidate because it's strong. Watch how little filament retracts for a color change. And here they are. They both came out really nice with really cool QR codes. This one turned out to be a little thin. Be sure you use a model that's thick enough or increase the thickness yourself. Let's go ahead and test them with my cell phone. Here we are on my cell phone. I will hold the QR code up against the camera. And it successfully opened Chrome and took me to the URL, which is my tap link, which brings you to my socials. They both work. And there you have it, a super cool QR code method that you can use on other models to give people a business card they may actually keep. I'm Mr. Greg. These are QR code business cards. This is the FlashForge 85X and you're on 3D Rundown.